These sweet and sticky wings are super addictive and so easy to make. There's enough to feed your family for dinner or to serve a crowd. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. These chicken wings are so super easy to do and they're so tasty. These are perfect for game day today if you're watching the Super Bowl. And if not, it's perfect for just even a family dinner. I have about two and a half pounds of chicken wings, tips removed and they're already split. I'm adding one tablespoon of soy sauce, just regular soy. And two teaspoons of rice wine. So normally I would use Shaoxing wine, that's part, probably my most used rice wine, but I find that it also has a very distinct flavor and I don't necessarily want that in these chicken wings, but if that's all you have, by all means use that. We've been known to use bourbon in the past or even a dry sherry would do the trick. And if you don't have it, just omit it, don't even bother. I'm just gonna mix this around to, to marinate the chicken a little bit before cooking. And I do find that when you marinate your meat before you cook it, it does add just a ton more flavor than if you didn't. But if you were strapped for time, I would just, you know, don't even bother. It's still going to be a tasty, tasty chicken wing without marinating. But it's just so much better if you do. I have half an ounce of ginger here. <laughs> They're about two little thumb sizes big and I'm just gonna, one of them I'm gonna grate, so I'm just gonna put that aside. And the other one I'm just gonna slice up. I'm gonna throw it in with the chicken to, to marinate. I'm just gonna slice it thinly. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Now my mom says you always have to marinate with ginger for chicken because it takes away that smell, the chicken smell. I don't know what smell she's talking about, but you all know what I'm talking about, right? That chicken smell. <laughs> oh yeah, that chicken smell. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, we're gonna let this marinate for about half an hour, 20 minutes. After your chicken has finished marinating, I have preheated my broiler and now I'm gonna coat it with some potato starch. I'm using sweet potato starch, and I find that it just crisps so much better uh, using this potato starch as opposed to like say corn starch or, well, I wouldn't use flour. And I'm just starting with about half a cup. I'm gonna put my wings in here a few at a time, just so that they're evenly, <laughs> yeah, my chopstick skills so that we can get them evenly coated. Well, these chicken wings are big. I think it's because these chopsticks are too big. What do you think, has, dude? I'm sure it has <laughs> nothing to do with your actual chopstick <laughs> skills, girl. You know, growing up, my dad used to complain how us kids never knew how to uh, use chopsticks because we don't actually use them properly as we're supposed to. But you know what, if you can put food in your mouth, that's all that matters, right? I'm just gonna shake this up to get them evenly coated. And if you don't wanna use a Ziploc bag or plastic bag, you can always dredge them individually, but I just find this is more efficient and makes them nicely coated. I'm gonna lay them down on the pan on the flat side, the side with the most skin, because I want that, I'm gonna flip them halfway, so I want that side to be more crispy at the end. And same with the winglets that you would put the side with the most skin down. See how much a sheet pan can actually hold. You can get them all done at once as opposed to, well, we have a tiny air fryer, so it would take forever because I would have to do it in multiple batches. And it's just, you want know faster to get dinner on the table or wings cooked. So sometimes I like to just baste it with butter and oil mixture, which you can totally do, or you can use a oil sprayer, which is what I'm gonna do today instead. And you do want them to be like 
fully um, oiled, like you want this potato starch to be saturated. So I know you guys think this might be a lot, but truth be told, it's way less oil than if you were to deep fry them. Okay, I also lined the pan with foil, I forgot to mention earlier, so that you would have way easier cleanup. Okay, going under the broiler for eight minutes. If I were going to do the wings in the air fryer, I would set it at 400 degrees and cook them for about 10, 15 minutes, flipping or kind of turning them once in the middle. While the wings are cooking, we're gonna prepare our sauce. I've got two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna take the skin off. off these little ends too. I'm just gonna use my grater since I'm gonna grate the ginger. Or you can chop it up, you can use a garlic press, whatever you like to do, just to get it finely minced, I guess. Okay, and that other half of the ginger I pointed out earlier. All right, just gonna set this aside. I'm adding some cilantro as garnish at the end, but to also add some freshness. And if you don't like cilantro, you can always use green onions or you can completely omit this all together. Look at that, so crispy already. All right, so we are now going to flip them over. And you will see, and I was gonna say that they're not that sticky, but some of them are, that's okay. What I should have done was sprayed oil down first, which I forgot to do. Yeah, it wasn't very smart, but you get the idea, guys. It's still gonna be really yummy, even if it's missing a little bit of skin. Oh, it looks so sad. Okay, we're gonna put it back under the broiler for another six to eight minutes. Okay, I'm using a wok today on low heat. Just gonna let that heat up. And if you don't have a wok, you can use maybe a large Dutch oven. What you want to do is be able to cook the sauce in your vessel and then throw your wings in there so you can just toss it all together. And if not, you can always just make the sauce on the side. When the wings are done, put them in a bowl, pour the sauce on top and toss it that way. Okay, and once you see a wisp of smoke, you can add your oil. Adding one tablespoon of cooking oil. I'm using corn oil. You can use whatever oil you are using, a neutral oil, not like olive oil. Okay, and I'm gonna add my ginger and garlic. You just kind of want that to cook without to burning. for about a minute, less than a minute even, 30 to 40 seconds. And I'm adding two tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of honey. and one tablespoon of dark soy. And that is all there is to it. Oh, it smells good. Okay, you turn off your heat. And now we're just waiting for the wings to be done. Not bad for crispiness under the broiler, huh? Yeah. Okay, so all of these are going now into the wok. And we're just gonna toss it. Okay, we're gonna give them a toss in the sauce. Oh my goodness, look at that. So that potato starch not only crisps up the chicken wing, but it also helps to absorb all the sauce. So you get some really, really good, well-coated pieces. Adding half the cilantro. 
and then the other half can be garnished on top. Look at that. Whoa, almost lost a piece, dude. Are y'all ready for? Oh yeah. Chicken wings, so many ways to make them yummy. Oh right, the taste. So what part of the chicken wing do you like the best? Do you like the drumettes or you like the, the wing or the winglets? I don't know what they're called. I like the, the two bone part, the wingettes. And because they're just so good to eat, I like the way the texture is with the skin, especially when they're crispy. Oh, this is sticky and gooey. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but uh, this is how I like to eat the wings. So there are two bones in these wings and one has side has uh, the cartilage in it. So, oh, this one's already, this one's already kind of detached. So I'm gonna twist the small bone, comes off clean and there might be some cartilage that's holding on to the other side. And as soon as that lets go, and what do you have? My friends, boneless chicken wing. Yeah, mm. Mm. definitely finger licking worthy. Ton of flavor, even though they weren't even air fried. There's a bit of crispiness because of that starch that was used, that, that sweet potato starch. The marinade gets right through the chicken wing, totally worth it. And then that sauce that is tossed in at the end, so much flavor. Oh, this would be, go so well with your favorite beverage. Fantastic. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed that, I know dude did. They are super sticky and sweet and yummy. Oh, I can't wait to dig in myself for another super yummy chicken wing video using the air fryer, check it out, and I will see you over there.